Welcome everyone. Today I have Ronnie, Dr. Ronnie with us. Hi. <laughs> Today we will be going over some entrepreneurial tips that Dr. Ronnie has and any <laughs> kind of marketing um, time management tools that she's used tell us a little bit about yourself to start okay uh, i'm dr ronnie i am a self-love doctor i help women increase the love they have within themselves to heal mind body and soul nice so, yeah. nice i love that it's like Clean, concise. It sounds like you worked on it before. I love Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> I have worked on it. I love it. <laughs> like that is one thing. That's one thing that we stress is about having a clear, concise. What do you do? Mm. Who do you serve? Um, and so that that kind of goes into one of our next questions that I have for you. Okay. Why did why do you do it? Why did you get into entrepreneurship? Oh. Why did I do it? I got a taste of it. And I knew when I got the taste of it, I realized why I never lasted in any other corporate job mm. for more than two years. Yeah. Every job I've had, I couldn't, I've never been in for, I don't think I even hit the two year mark. Like yeah. it's less than two years. Yeah. yeah. And so I hear, I hear that. Yeah. From the moment that um, <laughs> I hear that. From the moment I went independent as a personal trainer a few years back, mm -hmm. it, I was like, I'm never working for anyone else again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's when you knew, like, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. That's what that's why I didn't last. Yeah. In the corporate world. Gotcha. Yeah. So what was like your defining moment in entrepreneurship? Like, what was like the last straw? You were like, okay, this is it. I'm going for it. What was that like oh, for you? Oh, it was, so again, I was working in a gym mm -hmm. as a personal trainer, and it was the first job that I had after medical school. Mm -hmm. So what I liked about personal training was I got a full hour with the, with the client versus mm -hmm. like, you know, in conventional medicine, you only get like 15 minutes or so. Right. But the thing, Very the right. defining moment for me leaving the corporate world was the sales, to gotcha. be honest. Like they're always like, it's a corporation, right? And they're not in yes. it. They're not in it for the best interest of the client or the members, they're in it for the money going in their pockets. Mm. It's a corporation, that's how they got there, right? So mm -hmm. I can't hate on them for that, but it's not how I want to do business. For me, it's about helping the client and, make, and helping the ones that I know need my help yes. not forcing my help on them because yes. of numbers yes. so um, yeah so when I realized I didn't want it to just be about numbers I wanted it to be about people mm -hmm. and helping people that's when I was like it's time it's I time didn't to want it to be about numbers yeah I wanted it to be about helping people yeah I love that and I definitely think that that says something about your character and about your willingness to kind of give to the greater good yes. or like do yes. do the most good I yeah. think that's that is what attracts a lot of people into being a doctor I know it's what attracted me originally to being a doctor um, for those of you who don't know I have a pre-medicine degree my bachelor's degree is in pre-medicine and once I realized that like hmm I don't know if that's going to be the best way that I can heal people mm -hmm. is that really going to be the best way that I can make a difference and make the most impact in people's lives. And once I really kind of thought about it, I was like, maybe there's another way. Yeah. <laughs> and it's good that you were able to figure that out at a much younger age and mm -hmm. at a much, so that you don't end up dishing out all that money too for, you know, yes, getting into that field and then not being satisfied yes. with what you're doing. Because when I think back to when I was in college and I was, I was it was like my, my senior year and I'm like, I there's no way that I will survive being able to do eight more years of this. Mm. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. Like there's I could I could <laughs> I could, you know, I could do a lot of things. Oh sure. yeah. But is it is it worth everything that I was gonna be going to sacrifice? Yeah. And ultimately I decided it wasn't. But you know. 
We need doctors, though. Oh, most definitely. We need it. Yeah. <laughs> like, if, if that yeah. is for you, yeah. please do that. Do that, yeah. Please There's definitely. That. There's definitely a time and place for Absolutely. needing to go to conventional medicine. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. But I just, for me, and I know for you as well, like, just wanted to find a different way. Yeah. <laughs> just wanted to find a different way. So, who are your ideal customers? My ideal customers are mostly female. I would say from looking at my history and like who I've helped already, they tend to be more in the 30 to 60 age range, yes. which is still a wide range. Yeah. Um, but I think for me helping, because I'm in my 30s, so for me and the journey that I've been on and who and where I'm at, I think I tend to be more relatable to that age group. Mm -hmm. And so gotcha. it's, um, they, you know, they don't really refer me, they don't refer to me as a millennial because I'm on the like, I'm actually a zillennial. Zillennial? Yeah, I'm, I'm between millennial and generation X, Ooh. Gen X, or Gen Z, okay. Gen X, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So yeah, so the thirty, <laughs> so the thirty to sixty female range, um, you know, because I think I really think that that age range has a deficit in self love, and they need to be taught the proper ways to incorporate it into their life so that they become more confident, they increase their self worth, and and just embrace who they are for who they are. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And I think that that's a, that's a really good community that, you know, needs to be served. And I love that. Um, how do you, what, what gaps do you fit into that community? What like, what gaps do you fill in that community? So it's, you mix personal training and self-love. Oh, got it. So, like, I, oh, how do you kind of bridge those things together? I, I truly, like I said in my intro, it's all about the mind, body, and soul. Mm -hmm. So I utilize fitness because that's the body aspect. I utilize, you know, changing your self-talk, mm -hmm. catching your thoughts, so meditation techniques for the mind. Mm -hmm. And essentially, when you start working on the mind and body, you start connecting to your soul again. Yeah. So essentially that's how I bridge the gaps. I use fitness for the body. I use meditation techniques, nice. breathing, energy work for, you know, the mind yeah. and everything. And, and everything connects to the soul. So it's not about, it's not about telling people what to do or how they have to be. It's about them teaching them to learn themselves. Mm. Yeah. Teaching them to learn themselves. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I think it's so important to get to know that part of yourself that yeah. a lot of us kind of either we hide it or we don't like to address it or it's like oh that, that part doesn't really matter it's like that's where that's where the spark comes from that's yeah. where the creativity comes from that's where the purity of love and the abundance mindset and all of those things kind of stem from is that yeah I like to say I'm not the doctor that's going to tell you what's wrong with you I'm the doctor that's going to love you and hold the space for you mm. to learn to love yourself. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That's so deep. <laughs> I love that. I have, oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. So can you share with everyone kind of the budding entrepreneur, um, what are some of your tips for time management? <sighs> That's a tough one for me because when I started out, it was, you're your own boss. So there's yes. no one telling you what to do as far as time. So you have to like, you literally have to plan your day out accordingly and stick to it because it's very easy to just wake up and be like, oh, I don't have clients today and sit on the sofa and, and then not get anything done. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. um, but the cool thing is, is I'm actually, coaches need coaches too. So I, so I can important. coach people on themselves and their body, their mind, their soul. But when it comes to running a business, I don't know how to do it. So I need a business coach, you yeah. know? So that's yeah. been effective in helping to learn techniques for um, time management, yes. especially 
are we able to shout out? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I'm in a <laughs> business launch mastery class to help me with things like that. And I have an awesome coach. Mm -hmm. And these are these are tips and tools that have transformed my business, um, taking me to the next level. Oh yeah, and I don't yeah. like. Do you? What do you? I mean, well, I'm, I'm not at your level it. yet. But <laughs> as far as like you said, being the budding entrepreneur, it's mm -hmm. definitely a class worth taking because yes. for me, I know it's helped with honing in on my message. It's helped me. Uh, be more confident in what I'm doing and pursuing and sharing with the world and It's just great having other entrepreneurs around you because of just the suggestions mm -hmm. and and just learning It's a huge. Yeah. Yeah as a budding entrepreneur. It's definitely worth the money so and the time blocking that's what I learned in that class and Now it's time to apply it <laughs> yes. yes, yeah, I hear that I hear that. Yeah. Um, so what has been kind of your best marketing tool or your best mm. kind of secret or what has been able to get your word out the most out of everything that you've done? Ooh, I would have to say, and I'm going to look back at when I lived in the Bay Area, what mm -hmm. worked then. I would have to say word of mouth, definitely. And... You know, down here, I would have to say networking definitely helps because mm. the more you show your face somewhere, the more people start to see how reliable you are if you're constantly mm -hmm. showing up. Mm -hmm. And you never know who knows someone else that could need your service. Yeah. So the networking events really help as far as marketing goes in that sense. Yeah. Um, and I'm a people person. So for me, it's more of a, I need to get out there and people need to see and feel my presence. Yeah. Um, it's hard to do that for me at least on any other kind of platform because for me it's all about human connection. Yeah. So I'm definitely yeah. That. yeah. That's I, actually how I met Ronnie. Yeah. We actually <laughs> met at a networking event. So yes. if you don't think it works, it's it again. <laughs> Get some of, like, I, I've been able to get two of my biggest clients from networking events. So, um, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk more about that soon. <laughs> so, are you able to share one piece of advice that is kind of like, this is, this is what you need to know, entrepreneurs, get on your way? The journey is up and down. And don't let the down part keep you down. Mm. Don't let the down part make you give up on that dream because it's all a part of the process and success doesn't happen overnight and you have to keep reminding yourself that. But if you have a dream and a passion for what it is that you want to do and you truly feel in your heart that that's what's meant for you, trust the process, trust the journey and have faith. I love it. I love it. Thank you. That's so important because I feel like what people are shown is just the glamorous side yeah, of it. Yeah. You know, when we when we get to the point where we're making that six figure salary, we're making that one million, and it's like, ooh, now it's now it's the private jets and yeah. they're flying all over the country and speaking at events. But like, what does it take in the beginning? You're gonna have your and every successful entrepreneur I've talked to in this area they've gone through the same thing. Yes. They have the moments where they're just, how am I going to make it? How am I going to do it? Yes. But you will. Yes. Because you will. you're living out your purpose. And you go so. back to your why. Yeah. And that's why it's so important because you, anybody, anybody can make money. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Money comes and goes. That's fine. But why are you doing it? Yeah. That's what that's what's going to set you apart when you hit the downfalls. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to keep you going when you get to those rocks and you get to those stumbling points. Yeah. It's your why. Yeah. Who are you doing it for? Yeah. What are you trying to succeed? Who are you giving back to? Yep. What are you doing for the community? And don't be afraid to ask for help. Like reach out to yes. other entrepreneurs for advice, for, yes. you know, 
they've been through it, so yes. they're always willing to help. That's definitely something I've learned down here. Yeah. In in going to these networking events, that even in my lowest point, there's someone who crossed my path that I said the right things and I you know pushed the ego down and yes. asked asked, asked for, for the help. help. Yeah. And got it. Yes. Yeah. That is how both you and I ended up into the coaching, business yeah. coaching class yeah. that you're into. There is no shame in my game. If your therapist doesn't have a therapist, or your personal <laughs> trainer doesn't have a personal trainer, your coach doesn't have a coach, find a new one. They all, I mean, <laughs> I just had this conversation. We all learn from the best. Exactly. The, I don't know where I learned it. I've heard it many times, but, you know, you look at professional athletes they have a team of coaches yes. around them you yes. know so it's like yes. if you're going to be successful at what you want to do you're going to have a team around you as well yes you might be an expert in cooking okay great but do you know social media yeah do you know accounting do you know lawyer do you yeah. know yeah. like, legal is a madhouse if you don't have the right people yeah. so you are not. To, you don't have to be a master at all things. You find people that know how to do those things that you may not be the best at. Yeah. And you make it work. Yeah. So I don't be afraid that. to ask for help. Yeah. I love that. So can you tell the people how they can find you on your social links and all of that? Oh, my Instagram and Twitter are both Doctor Dr underscore Ronnie R A N I. One four three. And I love you. Scrolling <laughs> down. <Yay. laughs> and Facebook currently is actually my business page. You can find the same. Perfect. Yeah. Doctor underscore Ronnie one four three. I think I have to publish that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely get to know Dr. Rani. She's genuinely an amazing person, oh, let you. alone a wonderful entrepreneur, and she has an amazing services that mm. I've I've personally encountered and I love her. Oh, so yay. definitely <laughs> reach out to Dr. Rani. Thank you for joining us. Oh. We'll be back next week with another video. Subscribe, like, comment, all those good stuff. <laughs>